Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to another episode of Nimrods. I usually do not do a second run, but uh, we have a couple more guns. We didn't find some stuff in the world, and some people said the rocket chassis is really fun, so we're going to give that a shot. Uh, I've been... oh yeah. Uh, I've been jonesing for some more games where I can actually like pick up and play a little bit. Bullet Heavens are kind of exactly that. Big issue mostly boils down to... Uh, oh, do we want to go for the heart charm? No. Ammo rock. On firing a final bullet. Chance of spawning a five value credit or sniper barrel. I didn't like the sniper barrel that much, though. Because this is the fancy heart charm. Which is really, really good. The extra rate of fire is kind of nice. I'm gonna get me money. I'm collecting a credit. Get a shockwave though, like do I care? Whereas this one adds extra damage. Or no, this one doesn't do extra damage, but it gets me a lot of healing. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go for the heart charm again. We know for a fact that that one's amazing, and synergizes well with a couple of other upgrades. Boy, this AOE feels great. And what we're looking for are the splitting effects. So we have extra magazine size and movement power. Penetrations, which is interesting. Or special power and research gains. My main thing is, if I can get the reload speed to be faster, I don't really care. But I'll go for the Ripper Clips at the moment. Okay. And yeah, we might as well use the Sprint every once in a while. I'm not big on it personally. Uh, at least from a combat perspective. What's over here? Oh, Hive Barons. I think I found the uh, beehives. For better and worse. It is an explorable world. Like, I, I wasn't just exaggerating. There actually are other biomes to go to. Unironically, that's awesome. Ow. Oh. Okay, don't hit the bees quite yet. We gotta get those levels before I do anything. Uh, reload speed and healing bonus, yeah. And then... Enchanted bayonet, bullet damage, crit chance, crit bonus, air dock capacity. Every 50 enemies you kill grants a bayonet charge. Uh, spend a bayonet charge to deal 10 damage in a 2.25 meter area around you. And it can be enhanced up to under barrel recharge rate, armor, crit bonus, crit damage. Helix barrel. Or a cryo magazine. I really like the idea of the helix barrel. The enchanted bayonet is interesting. Yeah, let's try the helix barrel. Uh, frickin' heck yes? Alright, so we've got the Be Yourself perk. And while I'm not entirely convinced that the Helix Barrel is the best, it's kind of fun, especially if we can get even more bullet quantity. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, this is tough. Do I even care about Crit Chance? It was okay last time. The crit chance is kind of... Yeah, I'm going to go for the crit chance. Because if you can get that up to 100%, like, baseline, that's big. That's big. I don't actually know what we've unlocked by destroying the beehive. But it's neat to have found it. 
Okay, I hope we honestly get even more biomes. And that one gets bigger. Just to give the game even more interesting things to do. Like, I don't know. I There was a bullet heaven that I haven't covered yet. I'd done like a demo run of it. And it's like very much on my to-do list of things that I'd like to cover. Uh, just busy. Weighted stock. So, damage, reload, speed. Well, reloading, plus four armor. Or we could just get the fancy heart charm. You know what? I'm actually just going to go for the fancy heart charm. Get that out of my way. Because it gets me extra EXP. More healing, so we don't need to worry about potentially getting wrecked. And just overall, just seems kind of fun. Because uh, if we can get that bonus damage thing, we'd become absurd. But I don't know if specials can crit, so... I don't know, its usefulness maybe isn't as good as I thought it would be. I think it will be. And I really do like the fact that the uh, the blue slimes are actually designed to flank you. I think that is an incredibly cool idea. Uh, let's see, what was he even going to say? I don't know. Okay, anti-safe selector, so we could go for the bullet count. I think I'm actually going to try and go for the bullet count. It's unlikely I'm going to be able to get my bullet count to be, like, too much, but I'm really curious to see what happens if I have a bullet count of three with Helix Rockets, and how does how does that factor into anything? Huh. Sorry, just in my head for a bit. I think I'm just kind of distractible today, especially, like, in a bullet heaven where I can just be in my own head and largely get away with it. These games are not exactly the most complex. Um, one of my obsessions this year, ooh, Rate of Fire is really tempting. I think I'm actually going to go for that. As much as the, um, the crit damage would make sense from a damage perspective, I want to be able to pump out rockets pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. But so one of my obsessions lately is getting games out of my backlog and just being done with them. And I'd actually forgotten I'd played a game uh, earlier this year. I think it's ultimately because it was kind of forgettable. Uh, it was not actually a very good game in the end. Um, Surviving Mars. Uh, maybe people like it more than I did, but I found it to be kind of ho-hum by the end. And I was just sitting there and I was like, oh man, this makes me think of uh, like some random thought. I was like, oh yeah, this reminds me of Surviving Mars. And then I thought about it a little bit more. And I'm like, wait a second, I played that. I finished that game. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what is Blood Magazine? That does get me the Hemolytic Magazine if I want, which is extra bullet damage and hurt self but damage target, which is tempting. Otherwise, we have the Brass Knuckle Grip, which, frankly, I didn't like as much as I thought I would. The extra EXP is good, but yeah, let's go for the uh, Blood Magazine again. Because that actually fits my, fits my build, kind of. I don't know which which one gives me the splitting weapons, and I might have already missed out on that. Unfortunately, I can't see what the alternative like part types are. So we might just have to kind of make do with some kind of weirdo build. But whatever. I, I heard that splitting rockets gets really stupid in this game. And I want to find it, but if I can't find it, so be it. We'll find something else. I just have, you know, big old splitting rockets that do a ton of damage. So bullet damage or crit bonus. So that's a 8% damage boost. This is potentially more. If I can get my crit chance up. Currently it is a third as effective. So it's like an 8% damage boost, give or take. Not amazing. Okay, mag size, bullet speed, or just bullet damage. Uh, let's just go for the bullet damage. I'm not noticing... The, oh, wait, no, because we don't have the upgraded version of the Hemolytic... Uh, magazine. I was wondering about that. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not hurting myself to fire my bullets yet. I wonder why, and the answer is, of course not. I don't have the upgrade yet. But, uh... 
just to go back to my topic about finishing games, I'm trying to write like small reviews on them. Not as like a huge thing. Let's see. Excess damage penetrates targets. That's okay. And then there's ammo rack. Let's grab the hemolytic magazine. Get that out of the way, seeing as that can actually scale into absurd amounts of damage. I'll have to test to see if that special damage applies across the whole ex uh, explosion, or if it's just on the impact target. Uh, but, you know, just after a decade of playing video games for a living and finishing surprisingly few of them, uh, I'm just trying to, like, go through all of the different games that I really enjoyed as, like, a, hey, I'd like to finish this. The status effect duration. I don't even know about status effects. Do we want the damage? Do we want bigger bullets? I don't think we need the bigger bullets. Let's just go for the damage. And so, yeah, I, I wanted for years to finish uh, Surviving Mars specifically just because I never had. And... It just somehow, like, totally blanked on the fact that I did finish it earlier this year. And legitimately, I, I did not enjoy it. It's weird. Uh, but, like, my brain just went back to, like, oh, yeah, remember this game that you finished. It's like, oh, shoot. How did I forget about that? I don't know. Yours has been messy. It's part of the reason why I'm... Um, I guess, to go back to what I was talking about, I'm trying to write reviews for the things I finish. Uh, oh, we found the AK-47 blueprint. Enemy spawn rate? Actually, we want the spawn rate. Because we might also want to see if I can get my airdrop capacity up to 2. In case that literally gives me 2 levels worth of items. Because I could actually see that being really good in its own right. Okay, so the grenade launcher is tempting. We also have the lightweight grip. Oh. Wait. There's a premium grip. Let me take a look at the grenade launcher level 2. EXP dropped by enemies killed by grenades is drawn towards you. Kind of tempting. I do really like the idea of the lightweight grip, though. So let's grab it. Worst comes to worst, we end up with some kind of weird helix rocket machine gun. You know, we might not get the split shot, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll get plenty of other things to make the build viable. Okay, so more bullet count. Reload speed, which is really tempting. That's tough. Because I like the reload speed and the healing bonus. I think I'm going to go for the bullet count, though. Because we re we actually do reload pretty quickly. Already. Oh, do we have one of the gun turrets? We have two of them, in fact. I wanted to find one of these suckers because they usually have magnets on them. And I've left a lot of EXP behind. Go for rate of fire. Okay, under barrel flamethrower, uh, tech stacks, or bayonet. Bullet damage, max health, bullet damage, crit chance, crit bonus, airdrop capacity. So I'll go for the bayonet. Special power, spawn rate, EXP rate, and credit. Okay, let's keep going for the gunny's notches. My airdrop capacity has got to be getting close to two. And yeah, the bayonet's pretty good. I will legitimately keep that in mind for future runs. Oh! 
Capacity is the number of things that we get from these. More options. That's actually really good. Well, we're going to go for the anti-safe selector. The regen gets us more EXP. And the... Uh, The regen gets us more EXP, and the bullet count potentially puts us to the point where I'm firing. I am already occasionally firing three rockets, so it is doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. So shock-mounted scanning system, crit chance, crit bonus, max health and vision range, ammo rack, next level of grip, or bayonet. We already have those, though. Stock. So this is a bunch of crit chance and bonus. What's the next one? Oh, that's a square reticle. I don't think I need it. So when we go for the ergonomic grip, rate of fire, bullet speed, max health, and every rate of fire reduce my bullet spread, which I don't know what that does on the helix. But it doesn't really bother me one way or another. This is a weirdly effective build. And yeah, let's use the sprint every once in a while. I don't really use it to dodge enemies because I don't need to. But I should be using it as a like, hey, uh, use this to traverse the map faster because map map kind of big. Oh, right. That's what I was going to go back to. Uh, so I, uh, I'm so distractible. I apologize, but it's just my nature. Uh, let's see. Special power research gain EXP, more special power or rate of fire. I want to just dump mag and then start reloading. And if we can get that reload speed to be nice and quick, I don't know. It'd be nice to just spew rockets forward. Uh, it certainly does a lot of damage. Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? So there's another bullet heaven that I played that is ostensibly based off of like old school RPGs. It seems charming enough. Uh, like... I liked what I saw of it. Uh, my only immediate beef with it was that it the way that you interacted with the game was not particularly um, inspired. It was very much just like, hey, uh, just wander around in this kind of empty wasteland fighting enemies for a while. And you'd like have towns to interact with, but it was just like surface level interaction. Let's see, bullet size, penetrations, bullet count account. Let's see. Pulse check. We got the pulse weapon blueprint as well. Uh, but yeah, like I was going to say, most of the interactions were fairly surface level. You you just bought like some basic equipment for them. Your evolutions were just kind of, or your, your character's weapons would just go up in power linearly. Uh, with level and the enemies got slightly harder and there was like a gazillion recolors and most of them just walked straight at you. Um. Okay, so excess damage penetrates targets. That gives me the penetrations and the bullet size. We have the weighted stock. Like, I don't hate the idea of the ammo rack, but let's go for the sharpened bayonet. Extra bullet damage, crit, hit, crit chance, and crit bonus. Because, yeah, we've almost got it up to 100%. But I specifically sent the developers an email saying, like, hey, I almost feel like this should be formatted kind of like a Dragon Quest game. Like, give me some micro dungeons to wander around in. Um, have the game kind of pause when you're in town. And, you know, maybe you can, like, buy some gear, um get some equipment or whatever literally just like remake an old school like jrpg uh but recontextualized as a bullet heaven with bullet heaven mechanics um and like that would probably actually be a really cool game let's see bullet size collision bullet spread under barrel recharge oh that's just recharge rate for both of my two we could go for the nano nanotech for the 30% special power. Because I don't think we need bullet speed. Or movement speed that bad. So yeah, I'll go for the nanotech. Um, 
And I don't think it actually did get adapted for that, probably because, you know, retooling a game to that degree actually is going to take some amount of time and effort, and a lot of developers just so simply don't have uh, the budget for that, time or money-wise. Um, okay, special power research gains. No, reload speed. There it is. Also, the healing bonus is nice, because if I can get that up to two, that means my regen is just doubled. Okay, what is over here? Oh, rocks. They just hadn't loaded in yet. Oh, wait, create a containment field that reflects your bullets back towards you. Okay, so we actually do want this. Okay, and I've got to be careful. I don't have that much HP nor armor. I do have a decent chunk of regen, so, like, I get back up to half health pretty quick. But it's hard for me to get past that. And so, like, playing this and having a, a world that is even somewhat explorable is nice. And admittedly, like, credit where credit is due, Vampire Survivors did do it first. Uh, they have a, a couple of very explorable worlds. Uh, yeah, I'll just go for the flat damage for now. Um, but I would love to see some bullet heavens that, like, really embrace the idea of an explorable zone world. Uh, it's, I'm just going to keep going for that reload bonus. Because, yeah, if we spend zero time reloading, that's going to be very nice for me. Okay, let's get the containment field. I'd like to maybe get some of the rest of these. Oh, that containment field is very small. Oh. I didn't realize how small it would be. I am... I'm now a bowling ball of rockets. Uh, yeah, let's go for the ammo count. The speed would be interesting, but I don't think that's going to make a difference. And I, I don't think we're going to get the split upgrade because I think it just, uh, it was one of the things that was slotted that I've, uh, okay, good. It actually does tell you if you've missed a, a level up. Well, I should probably start working on my penetrations. And anyway, we might want that one that makes it so my rockets penetrate even more. Good. Magnet. Because yeah, we might not be able to get split shot, but whatever. So bullet damage, reload speed, armor. Eh. Might as well just get this one. Lowers my mag size, but increases my reload speed. And on fire under barrel, primary weapon bullet count up. Uh, looks like I don't get a choice. Because I could just go for this one. Gets me over 100% crit, but it does a ton of damage. This gets me damage and rate of fire and move speed. I guess let's go for the lightweight stock. Okay, bullet size. The bullet size is kind of tempting, but no, let's go for the crit bonus, because at this point, it's a big old damage bonus. I'm just 
go back to wandering around. I don't think we have any other crates to open up. But you never know. Unfortunately, my pickup radius is mega bad. Okay, special power, bullet damage, bullet speed, move speed. I guess I'm going to actually go for the bonus bullet range. I don't think that's going to make a huge difference here. I can't really see what I'm doing anymore. I've just given up on that. Like, we're just here. Things will die. Okay, special power bullet size or crit chance. No, I'm actually going to go for the enemy drop rate. Or enemy spawn rate. Like, the extra crit chance is good. Like, that's, that's good damage and is genuinely worth it. But... 10% uh, more enemies means 10% more EXP, but also uh, increases my chances of getting four, four upgrades rather than just three. And looks like that's the last part we were missing. I'll have to pay attention to which part the uh, split fire is. Not that I really need it here. Like the split rockets would be funny, but I don't know how much of a difference it would actually make. And right now, as it stands, I'm just a uh, explosive bowling ball. And that's good enough for me. Now let's let's get my uh, crit chance up to 100% or near enough to. Let's see. Then what do we do? Oh, is that a magnet upgrade? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, whenever we get one of those. So more bullet count, tempting. Effect size is also tempting. But I think I'm going to go for the bullet count. Let's see, bullet damage. More penetrations is tempting. But I think I'm just going to get the Eye of Horus engraving just so we don't have to think about this again. I don't think we need to go up to 110%. The effect size is interesting, but it's not... It's not enough damage to really feel like I need to, need to go for it. Uh... Just to go back to my topic about, like, making the world explorable, I think this could be it. Uh, the map seems to be kind of pre-made, uh, judging by the fact that I've seen that rock formation before with the robots next to it. Maybe maybe it's only slightly pre-made. Whoa. Took a little too much damage there. I think I walked into a bunch of enemies and, and took a lot. Oh, well, there's the boss. Kind of bad timing, considering my health. Okay, boss is there. We grab this. Effect size, penetrations. Yeah, mostly just reliant on that regen getting me back up without me taking too much damage. I might be able to just merc the boss really fast, though. All right, we're good. I was hoping to get a uh, one more magnet before we ended, considering there's so much money that's just been left behind. But alas, it's fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go back to home. We don't want to restart. Do I want to give this thing? 
Yeah, I think I want to give it to the drone. I could have put it into storage as well, but I think I think it's fine. All right, let's claim a couple of these. It being a rocket bowling ball was kind of fun. Let's see, how am I doing on time? Eh, good. Don't have too much more. Let's see what I can buy. Hopefully I can buy a new weapon so we can get the AK. Actually, we have no choice but to get the AK because the pulse rifle is uh, not available to me. So yeah, let's do one more run. So assault rifle, high fire rate, reload speed and ammo, old reliable. SMG, high rate of fire, weak damage along range and quite inaccurate. Or faster than the pistol, long range with penetrating bullets. Let's go for the AK-47. I think. Oh, shoot, we've got a lot, and some of them actually seem to be, like, a long distance away. So that's a question. I might try and go for the, uh, Endless Bullet Swarm build. Eyeball charm. Can it become one of these? Interesting. My problem is it doesn't seem complete. I think I'm just going to pick the bayonet again. Because the bayonet was reasonably good. It's actually feels like it's pointed in the right direction this time. Last time it looked like the bayonet was pointed at me, which was a little sus. Okay. Rate of fire, bullet size, or more penetrations. We benefit greatly from rate of fire, and the dodge is good. And then same thing with penetrations. I think I'm going to go for rate of fire and reload. If I can get large quantities of both. But yeah, I would... What would be a good way of handling this? You know, frankly... You know what would make this game work really well? Randomly generate the planet, but have subsequent runs take you to the same... Uh, like, take you to the same planet a bunch of times. Uh, but then after a certain point, you... You prestige out of the planet and move on. And maybe it unlocks some new upgrade types or gives you, like, some bonuses. Underbarrel movement now. Call me tacky, but getting 100% crit rate just seems reasonably useful. Always. There's the beehive. Looks like they put up a barricade this time around. Okay, well, I I want to say I know when I'm unwelcome, but I do kind of want to get in here. Chevron Charm. Is great. Movement rate recharge but on kill bonus bullet damage stacks indefinitely doesn't expire like obviously kind of limited and maybe not that amazing oh the crits pierce I think I'm gonna have to give up on getting into the hive whatever it is it doesn't like it um but actually like give me a fairly expansive world with kind of different sub areas to explore and it gets maybe harder the further you venture out so your first couple runs are like just base forays 
Uh, and maybe even you can put down some like permanent emplacements, but it's expensive. Or maybe you get to put the emplacements down at the end of a run or no, I don't know. Uh, and this is obviously maybe a little too pie in the sky, but having some like world that you're actually building up a little bit and then abandoning after you've cleared it out entirely. I'll go for the EXP gain rate for a little while. It's not strictly worth investing too many levels into. Uh, in fact, I think it's only worth investing one in. Because I think mo the max level is about 40. And so, if that nets me one extra level over the course of a run, it'll probably net me a little bit more than that. But not much. Okay. I guess the thing I would say is that would make this cool is if your map data persisted. Oh, it freaking does. I don't know if I got this. Oh, that's probably one of the turrets in retrospect. Okay, I'll go back for that level up in a hot second. This, um... This might actually just do the thing... What did that do? What is this? What have I done? It's a big drop box, that's for sure. Go for the reload speed. Our current reload speed is really bad. Okay. So scope sight gets me extra bullet range and bullet damage, which is kind of good. We have the shockwave, which is great. So that's a good barrel. We have the Brass Knuckle Grip, which is kind of interesting, gets a lot of EXP gain. Or I could just go for the Sergeant Charm. I think I can do better than both of these. Do I want the Scope Sight, though? I think so. Let's see if I can get get my way over to these really distant locations. I, I'm I'm waxing hypothetical, but this might legitimately be doing exactly what I was thinking of. Because yeah, it re it really does feel like this is a world to explore. And that's That's kind of exciting. I think the only immediate problem is there's not a whole lot of regional differences between the, the zones, from what I can tell. I'm wrong. There's a little bit. Oh, we're back in the Hive Barrens. Yeah, the Hive Barrens are interesting. I'm not fully convinced it's worth sticking around it here. Go for the reload speed. But on the flip side, those... Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna go for the notches for the time being. I'm not sure if it's worth sticking around, but... We do get a lot of EXP, specifically from the, um, the hives. 
think we might also get a reward. Okay, so lightweight grip, reload. I mean, we liked that one, sucker grip. Damage fire rate. And the less health I have, the bigger the car the collection. That's kind of good. What about the sniper barrel? I don't like it. And then we just have the scope bayonet. I like the lightweight grip. It's great on my reload speed bonus. Gives me a decent amount of range and... is just really good. Otherwise, I could go for the sharpened bayonet and see if there's a better grip than what I've seen so far. I wish I could actually take a look and see what all the different grips are. But I think I'm going to go for the lightweight since it uh, mitigates my biggest issue. Oops. There we go. That did some damage to it. Let's just go for the rate of fire. And a bit of dodge. Destroy that. G gave me some science. Yeah, what I should do though is... I think I'm going to go check out those um, markers. Because as much as I'd like to stick around here... As much as I want all this EXP... Uh, I'm here to just see the depths of this game, whatever it offers to me. I will say the rocket launcher does seem to be kind of uh, absurd compared to the rest. It just possibly vastly better than everything else so far. Okay, I think I can go down here. No, I cannot. Let's see. So we have the dissuasive barrel. We have the stock. And we have the helix barrel. Helix barrel is kind of fun, but I could probably do better. Let's just go for the sharpened bayonet for now. More boxes. No way for me to go down, so this might not be the... This might not be the way. But you never know. Electric Boogaloo. Tesleon Blueprint. Oh. Why is this game, like, actually absurdly good? Ow, that hurt a bunch. Okay, so I've got a level up down here. Two level ups. In fact... going to go for the rate of fire and the dodge chance. Yeah, I might I might not survive here. Okay, bullet count, regen, EXP gain rate or enemy spawn rate. I'm just going to go for the bullet count. <laughs> We have an apple. Yeah, the enemies don't do that much damage, so maybe I should get some armor. Splitting, so it's a magazine. Keeping, keeping that in mind. Well, I said I needed some armor. So we're gonna go for the splitting magazine. Even though I think it only does, like, two damage on the split. 
Okay, so more penetrations, bullet damage to max health, crit chance, or bullet speed. I'm gonna have to go for the damage. I should probably go for the crit. If I'm being entirely honest. Okay. Yeah, it's, let's just get my max health up. Unfortunately, these hives, I don't think give me what I need. On hit bullet split into a one sub bullet plus one additional per augment slot you have filled, which is really good. I just need to find one of those magnets. In fact, I would argue we are overdue and then some. Okay. I get the kind of distinct and unfortunate idea that I'm probably not going to be able to get there. I'll keep trying. Uh, we're just going to follow the bush line, but yeah, chances... Chances are this is kind of a dead end. At least for me for the moment. But at least we can plumb the, uh, the depths of the hives. Had a mission complete, kill X enemies with the AK-47. I don't know if these unlock new things for me. I hope they do. Maybe they do eventually. Currently, it's probably just money. Okay. Oh, turret, turret. Yeah, let's just keep going max health. There we go. Oh, blessed be the magnet. How many levels is that? At least three, possibly four. Rate of fire, lower reload. I like the hell spitter barrel. Lowers my reload rate, but I can kind of make that work. And we'll want to up my mag size pretty aggressively. We don't really benefit too deeply from bullet count. Let's see, lightweight stock, extra, even more rate of fire. I'm just gonna get the uh, greased hell splitter barrel. I'll see if I can boost my reload speed, but also drastically increase my mag size. Holy smokes. What a... what an absolute change in power. Okay, let's check the map. Because unfortunately for me... I think what I'm looking for is maybe over here? Because I'd like to get to those marked things, but I also get the distinct feeling we're not going to be able to, to get there. Let's just go for the crit bonus. Okay. Ugh. Is that a landmine? There are landmines at this stage of the game. I might not actually survive the trip. We don't exactly have much for healing. Ugh. I'm just gonna go for the bullet damage. 
Yeah, this is not exactly the best place to be. I'd swear a number of these are just showing up on me. Okay. Get that. Grab this. Um... Just ergonomic grip. That gets me a ton of crit chance. Puts us near 100%. I'm not dead yet. Let's go for the crit bonus. At this point, we're critting almost all the time. Okay, so I'm onto something here. I don't know what's up here. But I've awoken the hive. How much is obvious? Oh, is this? Nope, it's another crate. Dead. Damn it. That was really cool, though. I think the rockets weren't helping me as much as I'd like. Which is a bit of a downer. I can't bring this with me, can I? We have different deployment locations. Oh, that's wild. Okay, I'm going to put this into storage. It's a neat gun. Uh, I'd like to do more with it, but maybe I can't at the moment. This might actually be exactly the game I was talking about. I think this is going to take at least a couple more runs before it's um, before I've like really plumbed its depths. And I think I might actually just do a couple of videos, kind of like what I did with Death Death Must Die, uh, where I just try and get to the end of whatever's in the demo, and then I will. Uh, I think I will... I mean, obviously I'm going to be back when this game's out-out, but this is legitimately one of the better demos I think I've ever played in terms of depth and breadth. And I can't wait to see where it goes. But for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.